Uh, I was inspired. Um, the first musical I ever saw was uh, a high school production of Finian's Rainbow in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. And I looked, I, I saw it, and I was just struck. I'd never seen anything like it. And I, I think I fell in love during that show. I didn't know I could sing at that point, but I, uh, I just knew I wanted to be in that field. Uh, opportunities, um, they came along a little later. I, I was very shy about my voice, so I would only sing in the basement. I got to New York by, when I was in high school, I took a trip to New York City when I was a sophomore and I had been told about this little school called AMDA. It was very small back then. It was a little school on 23rd Street. And I left the group of kids and I went over to AMDA and just walked around and listened to all the people sing. I was too shy to say, introduce myself, so I just walked around and then I left. <laughs> and, but that's the school I finally went to after high school. I think when I started getting little jobs and things, that started to validate that I did have some talent, you know. But in the beginning, it's very risky for people to uh, stand up there and sing and put yourself out to, to be judged, you know. And for me, it, that was the biggest obstacle. When I was in Follies, it was, I was 23 years old, um, the stage manager of Follies um, um, was a fledgling producer. And he was involved in a production with Angela Lansbury. They were going to take Angela to London and New York with Gypsy, because Gypsy had never been done in London. And they were raising money for it, which is something the producer has to do. And I always had sort of a business mind as well as a performing mind. I always wondered how things worked in that way. And so I asked the stage manager if he needed some help raising money, and he said yes. And so I just, I just put my little papers under my arm and started having lunches with people, and I. I raised about a quarter of the budget for Gypsy while I was on the, uh, doing Follies and on the road with Follies. And so that was my, my beginning. There's an awful lot of detail and business work and just a lot of stuff that I, I don't really enjoy doing, you know? But you have to do that if you're going to be a producer. So it's a mixed bag. I loved so many of the shows that I've been fortunate enough to do. I loved uh, doing West Side Story, which I think is one of the greatest musicals ever written. And we did a terrific production of it at Lincoln Center. And I, I loved doing that. Hearing the sound of 46 pieces in the orchestra was exciting. I was thrilled to be able to do, uh, to work with Stephen Sondheim as much as I have, both in beginning West Side Story and then uh, with Follies. One of the shows I loved doing the most was The Fantastics. I just had a great time with The Fantastics. Loved Follies, loved The Baker's Wife, loved... Um, um, I got a chance to do a lot of the classic shows, the, the um, company and things like that in, in, in uh, regional theater, and I loved those too. But being as old as I am uh, has its benefits in that I was here when the, sort of the golden age of musical theater and all those people, all the Michael Bennetts and all those people were still creating and I got to work with them all, so those were wonderful moments. I have a new show now I'm doing with Victoria Mallory that I'm producing as well. It's a new Broadway musical called In the Summer of 68, which is about our experiences working with all those people back in 1968. And I'm starting to write a few lyrics for it as well. So that's something I never have done, but I, I, um, I, I admit that I'm a lyric snob, that I mean I, I um, a lot of lyrics just I don't find are very interesting to me and I, having worked with Stephen Sondheim, one of the better, better if not the best lyricist ever, I, I have very high standards about it. To be totally honest, probably being an actor suited me better because I'm, I'm more, I, I tend to lead more with my heart and my creativity than like a, a, bus, a strong sort of business sense, you know. And in, in, uh, when I do produce things, I always lead with my heart. And sometimes I make, I, I fall in love with things that aren't necessarily that financially successful or whatever. So uh, I'm sort of a landlord here at the studio. I just make sure that, you know, I get the cleaning people uh, to, to take care of the cleaning and stuff and a little bit of scheduling and that kind of thing. I have this floor, there are five studios here. And then on the second floor, I have eight more studios. So it's a real busy place. It's, you know, just sort of making sure the money comes in and it pays the bills and stuff. And uh, as a teacher, well, that's a whole different story. I just, you know, I, of 
fortunate to be able to teach along with do the other things, and, and I, I love teaching young people. I love to, to see people who come in the room with the same kind of uh, love for the musical theater that I had, because it makes me, makes me feel good. I'm very fortunate that I get to, to work in the field that I really love and I, I uh, you know, if you, if you get out of bed in the morning and you're excited about what you're going to do, that's a really good sign. So I, I, I have no idea. I've done a lot of other things. I've painted apartments, I've, uh, you know, done a lot of odd jobs and stuff to support myself while I was uh, going to school and whatever, but uh, this is what I always wanted to do. And I hope you all are able to do that too in your lives. As a performer being in or as a producer, um, creative producer, making new things happen, um, new projects. Um, most of the things I've done as a producer over the past few years have been brand new. I'm not as interested in revivals anymore, you know. Um, I, I want new things to happen and so if I can just keep doing that for the rest of my life I'd be very excited. New composers, new actors, um, you know, work with work with uh, creative people. Jenny, you may be a producer. You, you may wear many hats during your lifetime. You know, some things will work out, some things won't. Uh, but follow your bliss, and and uh, and we need young young creative people. So that's that's my story. <laughs>